it's Melissa here with Tilted K Homestead and today I'm going to be starting my seeds that are from 8 to 10 weeks. Now a couple weeks ago I had done seeds for 10 to 12 weeks and if you guys want to come over here and take a look at the seeds that I have going on I can explain to you a little more about what had happened during those two weeks. Alright, so about two weeks ago, when we had first done these seeds, it was probably about three days later when we came down to check on them, give them water, they had soil that was spread out all over the place. We think that a mouse had gotten into the soil and had eaten our seeds. So Eric had come down here and while I was at work one day and he replanted a lot of those seeds. Now some of them are still coming up, others have not come up yet, so let's come over here and take a look at our peppers that we have going on in here. So here we have jalapenos that are coming up pretty well. We have some cubanelles that are coming up, banana peppers, we have some California wonders in the back over there. What I've noticed is that our bull nose have not come up at all. Um, so we're going to give it a couple more days and we'll see if those sprout at all. If not, if those have not sprouted at all, then we're just going to reseed. So now that you guys have seen what I planted two weeks ago, technically it's only been like about 10 days because of the mouse issue. But today, I'm going to be starting some tomato, eggplant, and some more onions. Oh, I almost forgot. Lettuce, too. Alright, so the first thing that I gotta do is get my soil into my little cups here. I'm going to start off with my eggplant, but I want to get all the soil in here first. In my bucket here, I have my starter mix with some fertilizer, and I've also dampened the soil a little bit. It's not soaked, it's just damp enough so that it kind of holds itself together. Alright, so we're just going to get these filled. So now that I have all of my soil in my pots here, I am going to start off with my eggplants. I'm going to do four pots of eggplant. So let's get some seeds in here. This, these are pretty tiny, not so tiny, not as small as celery seeds. Let's put that right there. So, according to this, the package says that they should go down about a half an inch into the soil. So I'm just going to poke a little hole in there, and then two to three seeds, and then just close it up. Now I have my little plant stakes here that say eggplant on them so I'm just gonna put those in there I'm using tiny little stakes this time because we have so many pots and there's going to be a lot of different tomatoes in these pots it's not just going to be one kind of tomato so I wanted to make sure that I knew exactly what I had in each pot okay so now I am ready to work on my tomato seeds I'm going to start off with these Sweetheart Cherry Tomatoes. But I'm also going to plant 
Rebecca Allen's. An Amish paste. And then also Martino's Roma. So, I'm going to get started with my Sweetheart Cherry Tomatoes. And those, I believe I only have four on the list of those tomatoes too. So, tomato seeds are tiny. So I usually do a couple of seeds. And this is an eighth of an inch down. So one, two, three, four. All right, I got my pot here. And two to three seeds in there, and then we're gonna just close it up. All right, guys. So now that I have all of my tomato seeds and my eggplant planted, I'm gonna give them some fish emulsion and water mixture and get them all nice and <clears throat> wet here. After I get these watered, we are going to move these trays onto our heat mats. All right, guys, so now that I've gotten them all watered, I'm gonna move my trays onto my heat mat and underneath the lights. to my lettuce and my bunching onions. We're gonna do 36 bunching onions and then 12 Merlot lettuce because we have other lettuce that we're gonna do but this one is in the eight to 10 weeks mark so we're gonna plant these first. All right, so what I need to do is I need to get my trays here filled with soil. So we're gonna get that done first. So I have my <clears throat> cells filled for my onions right here. And then I'm gonna use these for my lettuce. So I'm just gonna kinda keep them separate over here. I'm gonna mark them, but just so I know when I put the seeds in. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the lettuce, okay? Again, this is a Merlot, a nice red color lettuce. Those seeds are very, very tiny. So, get a few seeds. Nope. Almost forgot. Alright guys, so now that I've gotten my <clears throat> lettuce planted, I'm going to move on to my bunching onions. So let's get going with that. Alright, so I am getting all the holes into my cells so I can get them the seeds in there. I almost forgot one. Alright, so if you come up a little bit closer, you can see the little holes in there. I'm just going to drop my seeds in and then cover them over. Again, these are white Lisbon bunching onions. All right. 
right. So now that I have my onions and my lettuce planted, I am going to reach over here and give them a nice drink. So now that I've gotten those <clears throat> watered, I'm going to mark off. I have little markers here for my onions. Actually, I need to get another one. But for right now, I know that this is onions and this is lettuce. So we're going to get these onto our heat mat and underneath our lights. All right, guys. So now that we've gotten our 8 to 10 week seeds planted, we are going to say goodbye until next time so thanks again for watching and don't forget if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe hit that like button hit that bell and if you're really enjoying our videos please share them with all your friends and family on our, your social media pages thanks again guys have a good one bye